So people are mad that Nvidia are giving you better performance for the same dollar? Why aren't people mad at AMD or Intel for not doing anything? I got a hot take. I got a hot take. I don't think there are going to be any Founders Edition water blocks because back to the topic of uh, Thermal Grizzly. That does make sense that he would make one because I don't think anybody else is. Because the Founders Edition 5090, you, you would have to be an 8 out of 10 at minimum in terms of skills with your hands to take that thing apart without damaging it let alone reassembling all the boards on a it's just not gonna fucking happen so that being said when when whoever comes out with a 5090 water block for the founders edition who does the tech support and who does takes the liability for it? So when let's say Joe Joe Timmy is disassembling their 5090, let's say they've already damaged it during the disassembly. Let's say liquid metal got underneath one of the memory chips or something, right? No, not grandma. Grandma wouldn't attempt that, right? Um Let's say that he took off, he took off the top with a little too much force and a piece of liquid metal dropped and got underneath the memory module. Let's just say some fucking freak accident, right? You don't know that you broke the card until you try and turn it back on again. By then they've already tried to install the water block. They go and install it, black screen doesn't turn on, whatever, whatever, whatever have, have you, right? The trust me, I've dealt with fucking customers. They are going to think it's the water block's fault. They're going to reassemble it back with the stock cooler to verify. It's still not going to work. It's broken. They're still going to blame the water block install. They're not going to blame themselves. So then now what? Now the, the, the manufacturer, now what do they do? Yeah. Do, never mind that. What about just, what about just, hey, I'm this far along in the instructions and I need help because I can't figure it out. Now they're wasting man hours on the phone helping people water block this founder's edition. So like, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not possible to water block one. I'm just saying what company, that's a, I, I don't know. What's the, what, what's the, uh, you you have like this you have like this extremely high risk product with extremely low reward monetization. So if you come out if you're the one guy that comes out with a 5090 founders edition water block, then you own the entire market because nobody else is dumb enough to fucking make one, right? But then you you take on all the risk of having to deal with humans trying to use that thing. 250. We almost have 500 viewers right now. Wow. It just goes to show you how many people are hungry for real information, man. 500 viewers on a tiny ass channel like mine. That's more viewers than channels with millions of fucking subscribers, man. Should have to film your install to be covered in warranty? I don't know, man. You know what? I should ask NVIDIA what their plan is on that, too. Like, putting liquid metal on that thing is ballsy. Not, not from a... Um, not from, like, a, a performance or, or oxidization standpoint... But from a, what is the user going to do when they take it apart standpoint? And, and who's, and how do they determine 
what's under warranty and what's not so it's so what liquid metal do you put back so as soon as you take the the fucking how do you wipe it off dude there you go there's it okay so you, you you have your 5090 you take the top off let's say nothing goes wrong dude takes a paper towel tries to wipe it off he just spilt all that fucking liquid metal all over the pcb he uh he he dips it in alcohol and then now all of a sudden they turn into those little circle bubbles of like mercury fucking ruins the entire pcb again so it's like no i'm i'm not overthinking it dude you you're you the, the thing is you hang out with a lot of people that are competent in the hardware space so the, all, all that kind of stuff is normal for you guys like the xoc crowd liquid metal is not a big deal dismantling and taking apart on dude i deal with cod bros whose hands are shaking when they're dealing with a screwdriver what who does what in that scenario so the guy takes the water block off and it's damaged is that the water block manufacturer's fault is always going to be the user's fault or is it or does nvidia take responsibility now what happens if nvidia all of a sudden get like a 30 percent return rate or rma rate because of all these motherfuckers trying to take their cards apart and destroying them because the liquid metal fell out well now the only lesson nvidia learned was to not innovate don't give the user good products don't give them cool two slot cards with liquid metal with daughter boards because they're just gonna break them and try and rma them i pray that doesn't happen right yeah, but there's no reason to dismantle a PS5. Right? No, liquid metal doesn't work that way. If they turn that shit on, if you spill liquid metal under a VRM and you turn it on, it's fucking gone skis, dude. There's no there's no refurbishing that shit. You just shorted a fucking 12 volt line right to, right to the core, right? There's no refurbishing that shit. They took a huge gamble on actually doing something like that with so many breakable parts and liquid metal and shit, knowing, dude, look how many users burned their 12 volt high power connectors by not plugging the cable in all the way. And Nvidia's like, okay, we're gonna eat that and we're still gonna provide you an epic fucking product with that 5090 knowing how many people are going to break it and try to RMA it on top. It's like, no, man. It's like, give NVIDIA a little bit of fucking credit here. Like, like let's, let's, let's be a little grateful and appreciative that they gave us a two-slot workstation monstrosity that hits like 75 Celsius at 600 watts. It's like, no. It ain't no black box shit, man. It's just like... They just wanted to do something that was cool. Consequences be damned, right? Treating it like a black box design. They literally made a video that was like 30 minutes long explaining exactly how they did it, dude. Like step by step, including how they even did the uh, the 3D uh, vapor chamber and everything. They couldn't have been more open about how the hell they did it and why there was tech power up did a thing on noise levels right and what it was was the supreme was like two or three db lower than the astral and you know what this is a whole topic maybe we'll talk about next saturday because it's 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 uh it's like an industry issue it's it's a huge fucking issue but but moral of the story asus asus god they used ptm sheets on their graphics cards right this generation now in my testing ptm is always going to be two or three celsius hotter than a good paste just makes sense right
like crowd not extreme or something like that now when i see this and asus the astral is 2800 and it's like two or three celsius hotter than the supreme it's like now asus is getting roasted for that but like they used ptm so so they tried to do a pro consumer move by using a ptm sheet on the die so that the user would never have to take their card apart and repaste after like two or three years and now they're they are being punished for it you know what i'm saying so so now what lesson is aces going to learn well fuck trying to actually provide a good product or any value because these idiots on all these tech publications all they all they post is this dumbass bar chart of noise levels they don't there's no there's no nuance to why it's like this one is 36 db this one is 39 db we don't care why oh and this one's twenty eight hundred dollars and this one's twenty six hundred dollars so this one is clearly better it's like but they don't mention yeah you have to repaste this one after a year and this one you never have to repaste ever again they never mention that shit do they it's 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 like insufferable like these publications are so insufferable to me man because I'm not, I'm not like defending asus as a brand it's just like tech media needs to do better man they need to do better there's some fucking nuance to that shit seriously like look at the thermal interface material first right and then now the, what i was gonna say is like that's the whole reason why we had suicide system agent voltages and suicide soc voltages in the first place because like if you have a chart like this and asus does 1.7 volt system agent and they're at the top by 0.01 percent well they're at the top there's no nuance of your cpu is going to degrade in three months on day one it was at the top and it's this kind of dumbass fucking publication reviewing that's caused the entire issue of the entire hardware scene in the first place. So now it's a race to the bottom. So now next you're next the next one you're gonna see is um, the Astral Liquid Metal. So Ace is gonna be like, "Fuck it, we'll put Liquid Metal on this bitch too," and then they're gonna have like a fifty percent failure rate of people taking it apart and it's spilling everywhere but on day one they're gonna be at the top of the chart and they just made a horrendously unfavorable product for the consumer it's just like it's like like the audience is their own worst enemy and tech publications just fuel that shit with their own worst enemy dude it's really frustrating but there's a silver lining on that shit because now your boy is going to have day one reviews and now your boy now all tech tubers all tech media all tech publications now have to compete with somebody that actually knows what the fuck they're doing on day one yeah this is like this is lazy as shit man they got to compete with me now yeah they're fucked it's gonna be gg easy straight up so now so 5080 comes out you have 30 day one videos you only gotta watch one mine that's it you only gotta watch mine and i'll have all the relevant info no bullshit thankfully nvidia just makes way too much money that maybe this is a complete non-factor maybe we're just yeah it's com they, they could probably have a hundred percent rma ratio and nothing bad would happen yeah yeah but it's like for any company that isn't uh 
evaluated at like a multi-trillion gazillion dollars. Like let's or let's say uh Der Bauer's uh water block that he makes, for example, or whatever, right? So let's say Oh, that's that's the perfect example. Let's just use that example. So let's say Der Bauer gets a 30 or 40 percent return rate on his founders edition water block because the too many customers fucked it up it's it basically punished him for trying to create an innovative product he's gonna get punished for it so when the 6090 comes out and nvidia makes it even more crazy with like six daughter boards Der Bauer's not going to try and make another water block for that one because he ha he got punished for it, right? When, dude, I'll tell you one thing. As a person that runs a business and sells things to customers like bundles or consults or whatever, what have you, RAM kits, when you try to help people, they will fucking abuse the shit out of you when you try to help them. They will just take advantage of you. They will you. Mm. It's it's rough, man. It's rough. It really is. Look at how many people try to pay five dollars and get tech support, man, and then get mad when I say that's inappropriate. Is he, dude? Yeah, no. Like Der Bauer's gonna get fucking burned, man. He's gonna get burned. I I just if Nvidia gets burned, they can afford to take the hit. But I, I don't want to see... Because Der Bauer makes good products. I don't want to see a little guy like Der Bauer get fucking fried because he tried to create something cool, right? Or again, Asus with the, the PTM. We're never getting PTMs again now because the only lesson they learned is, well, fuck it. Just use a really good paste that lasts two months, right? So people are mad that nvidia are giving you better performance for the same dollar it's like why aren't people mad at amd or intel for not doing anything it doesn't make any sense they just like providing all this value and people are just molding all the fucking time, dude. I think, you know what I think people are really molding about? Is just like, games fucking suck, and they're optimized like shit. And it's like, that's all it is, man. Honestly. And people are frustrated at the inflation. It's like, it's like, you know, you know how like when you have a fucking girlfriend, and they're just like, complaining about shit that doesn't make any sense and it's always like this weird deep rooted they don't know how to express what they're angry about right that's basically the entire tech audience too it's like they're they they they're, they they just point their vitriol over the next product launch so when when AMD releases like the 9070 XT or whatever that thing is gonna get fucking destroyed, <laughs> right? And then all the vitriol just comes off of NVIDIA overnight because they don't know what they're angry about. They don't know why they're mad, right? They're, they're mad that they just don't enjoy gaming anymore. They're mad they can't afford the top end model. They're mad that scalpers are gonna take all, the, there's, they're, they're, they're pointing their anger at the wrong thing, right? That's all it is.